Today we're going to talk about like terms. In the next video, I'm going to talk about combining like terms. So this is just the first part to get you to the second part, which is combining like terms. All right. Um, what? Let's suppose that you went to the grocery store and you went in the fruit section and they had all of the vegetables just scattered everywhere. All the vegetables and all the fruits. You had bananas mixed in with apples and with grapes. All, all, these, all these fruits were just all over the place. <clears throat> and it would be confusing. In fact, it would be a horrible shopping experience if they did that. So, <clears throat> what, what they do in the grocery store and in different uh, places, they put all of the grapes with the grapes, they put all the apples with the apples, and they put all the bananas with the bananas. Okay? So that when you go to the bananas, when you go to the banana section, you'll be in the banana section. All you will see will be bananas. When you go in the apple section, the only thing you'll see will be apples. And the same thing with grapes. Well, like terms is sort of the same, is like terms is sort of the same way. Okay? And terms, let's start off with terms and what they look like. Okay? This is a term. This is a term. That's 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 a term. And also, that's a term. So, terms can be either positive or negative. A term can just be one variable sitting alone by itself. A term can also be a single number sitting alone. But these are called constants. When it's just a number, they're called constants. But it's still a term. Okay? And a term can be a variable with an exponent. That's a term. It could also include a variable with an exponent and another variable. Or it could have a number, a variable, and an exponent. All of these are terms. But I only have one pair. No, I have two pair. I have two pair of like terms. Now, like terms, with a like term, it doesn't matter what the number is in front of it. Like terms um, only deals with the variable and the exponent. Okay? So, I want to look for the, for the terms with the same variable in the same order in the same order. Okay? So, I have a y squared here and an xy squared here. These two are like terms. Why? Because they both have x squared. Do you think you can pick out the other pair of like terms? Well, this term and this term, they're like terms. Because both of them have x squared y. Here you have x squared y. And so if we wanted to, we could combine these two. But we're going to talk about it in the next video. Okay? I'm going to write some terms on my sheet 
and see if you can pick out my light terms. Take a minute and write these down and put a circle on one set, a triangle on another set, and a circle and a square on the other set. You can pause your video now. Okay, welcome back. Let's see what you came up with. Okay, remember. We said that the that like terms have the same variable with the same exponent. Or it could just be a variable standing alone or a number standing alone standing alone. Do you remember what I said of what that type of like term is called when you just have a number? Right, it's called a constant. Okay? So, let's start out with our constants. Do we see any constants? Just numbers standing alone. Well, we have 16, 3, and the 6. Okay. Another pair. We have a V here and a V here. Those are like terms because both of them are just V. It's just a variable. See if we can find our other pair, our triangle. Where did you put your triangle? Let's see. Here's a Y square here. Here's a Y square here. And here's a y square here. These are like terms because it has y squared, y squared, y squared. The number in front does not matter when you have variables. It only matters when you have constants. These are variable these are terms also. Well, I hope that that helped you a little bit with like terms. Uh, please don't hesitate to um, send me comments if you have any questions or if you'd like me to do a video. I'd be more than happy to do it. And I will see you next time. Bye.